hunters eat huge quantities of food. Now in the wild they'll hunt things like wild boar and red deer and in times of hardship they will go fishing and in fact you can see Christmas tummy and legs he's quite soggy he's been playing in the pond he doesn't mind getting wet but when they've caught their prey they need to make sure that they gorge themselves but they won't know where that next meal is going to be coming from and male tigers have been observed eating as much as 40 kilos of meat in one sitting and to put that into context with something that is quite recognisable, if you try and eat the same amount as Kisma, you would need to go home tonight and eat 400 beef burgers. It's a lot of food. But of course, if we fed Kisma 40 kilos of meat, he'd eat on a Monday and not need to eat again until Friday. So what we do here at the zoo, they get a snack every single day. And whilst I'm telling you about the tigers, Sarah's actually giving them their health check. So she's looking in their mouth, checking their eyes, Get them to lean on the fence means you can check in between every individual claw on their foot and check their belly. It's a really good chance of getting close to make sure they're nice and healthy. And then of course what we do, six days a week, they're going to get a breakfast. A nice big lump of meat coming on the bone for them. So we always have one day where they don't get breakfast. And that sounds a bit mean, but we call it a starve day and reflect how tigers don't eat naturally in the wild every day and keep them in tip-top, really healthy condition, as you can see you also have to learn to take turns, it's not your turn. But as I'm sure you're aware, tigers are one of these animals which are really high profile and endangered. The Amma tiger is classified as an endangered species and even though it's been a really quiet day here at the zoo, there's still more people here today than there are these guys left in the wild. It's thought there might only be 350 Amma tigers left out in the wild. So by visiting us today, you're ensuring we can continue to support 21st Century Tiger, which is a fantastic organisation which ensures these fantastic animals can remain living out in the wild. But also, we are part of a European breeding programme. And in fact, Kuzma here is testament to that he was born here at Banandu, and lovely Sveta joined us from Portugal to be his partner a few years ago. And they have already produced cubs to the breeding programme. In fact, Sveta had a pair of twin girls three years ago which grew up really quickly. They left us last summer when they were already the size of mum and they've got off to zoos in Europe where they've already got boyfriends. So hopefully they'll go on to have some little ones in the near future too. And who knows, these guys do like each other a lot. So we'll see lots of head nuzzling and lots of affectionate chuffing from each other. So we might be expecting some more in the distant future, who knows? Now, if you have any questions about Kisma and Sveta, do feel free to hang around and ask. We have our most best to answer them for you. But unfortunately, everybody, this is our last talk of the day. So I hope you've all had a lovely day here at Balanzi. And I will get to see you all back here very soon. Thanks.